Hey everyone, we are in Vancouver, Canada, and we're about to go whale watching. That's coming up right now, right here on BBTV. Hey everyone, I'm Tiffany Burns and you're watching my channel, BBTV. And today we're in Vancouver, Canada. More specifically, we're just outside Granville Island and we are making our way out into the big ocean beyond. We're on a whale watching tour. So let's see if we can find some whales. The day begins at the popular Granville Island Market, located right on the water in the heart of downtown Vancouver. That's where Prince of Wales, BC's largest family-owned eco-adventure company, keeps their boats, specifically built for whale watching. The Ocean Magic has a capacity of 74 guests and can be privately chartered. And it is raining a bit, so visibility is not all that, uh, all that great, but uh, we're going to cover it's Vancouver, so everyone is prepared for the weather. As we leave the city behind, we have a stunning view of the glass towers downtown. And the giant freighters anchored in the harbor. The passengers have a covered area on the main level of the boat while others are braving the elements up top with umbrellas. As we pass by Point Grey Peninsula, home to the University of British Columbia, the sky to the west starts to lighten up and the rain finally stops. Then the first sign of wildlife. If you are on the rail side of viewing, you need to stay as low as possible so people can see over top of you. On a rock barrier jutting out into the Strait of Georgia, we see a group of stellar sea lions. They're the largest species of sea lion and are considered to be an endangered species. Not wanting to intrude for too long, we leave the sea lions behind and return to our top priority, whales. We motor so far south along the coast from Vancouver, we're actually right up against American territorial waters, which our captain is careful not to cross. Finally, the boat comes to a stop. We keep our eyes peeled for something, anything. Because they're sea mammals, not fish, whales have to come to the surface for oxygen. Finally, we see a fin. It's a humpback whale with a baby. We're not allowed to go closer than 100 meters for the mammal's safety. Apparently mom and baby are snoozing and coming up for air at regular intervals in their sleep. Underneath that dark water, the mama humpback could be as long as 60 feet with flippers up to 16 feet long the largest animal appendage in the world. The best time to see humpback whales near Vancouver is April through November. Despite the lack of big jumps or splashes today, experiencing the sighting of these whales arcing up to the surface is magical. Soon though, it's time to return to the city. The freighters loom large while Point Grey is shrouded in fog. As we pass under the Burrard Bridge, our wildlife tour is capped off by a pirate sighting, the friendly kind who fly a Canadian flag. So we were pretty lucky we managed to avoid rain most of the way, but in Vancouver, got to embrace it when it gets a little wet out. We saw whales. The trip was a success. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Tiffany Burns in Vancouver, Canada with BBTV. And today we're in Vancouver, Canada. Most we were lucky. We stayed pretty dry most of the way, but in Vancouver, you just gotta <laughs> get the photo bomb from one of the naturalists. Uh, we've just departed from Granville Island and right now we are outside of English Bay and we are on the lookout for whales. 
Let's see if we find them.